Hello Aquarius and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your July 2023 Money and Career Tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so I hope you're well. As always, this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. I seem to have glitter on the table and I don't really know where it's coming from. <laughs> but anyway, let's continue your reading. Uh, as always, take what resonates here, Aquarius. Let's see what we have for you, money, career, finances, for July 2023. Message for our lovely Aquarians. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Aquarius. So, the first card is justice. Something in your life needs to be brought into alignment. Your career may be in law, such as police, military, in courts, or the criminal justice. Be sure to be honest and ethical in money matters or you'll face the consequences. So we have justice, which is actually quite a balancing energy. We have the artist. Focus on finding the beauty in your day-to-day -day life. The artist can be a photographer, painter, film, graphic artist or web designer. If you can't make a living with your art full-time, start part-time to just get started. So that's what I see for you here, Aquarius. Those are your first two messages. The interesting message that came, and it might well be something additional to the reading, there could well be uh, something quite favourable for you. It can be to do with things like um, property rights, especially with this artist, uh, original work. Um, yeah, however that manifests for you. But that's just what came to me, so I think that message is for somebody. But let's see what else we get. Let's pull you a fortune cookie. Message for Aquarius, thank you. Message for Aquarius for the month of July. We have sunshine, which is a really positive energy. The sun is shining on you. Career and business growth, fabulous communication in relationships. Let's pull you an oracle card. Let's see what we have for Aquarius, please. Money, career, finances. This can also be very good, this combination in terms of uh, new contracts for things like artwork or expressive work of some kind. I feel I'm getting those messages uh, specifically for somebody. Let's see what else we get for Aquarius, please. Angel, spirits, guides, message for Aquarius. We have life purpose, something that you're meant to be doing, finding the right path forward. I mean, this is really an aligned energy as well because it's as above, so below. It's finding the right path for you, the right direction for you. Let's see what else we get with that. I'm going to pull you an energy. Energy, money, career, finances, please. We have delight, number 19. The frequency of delight supports our capacity to create and experience feelings of intense joy and happiness. The more delight we feel, the more delight we evoke in others. Delight energy is real joy. All right, I'm going to pull some cards, see what wider message we get for you. What do we have for our lovely Aquarians? Thank you with this reading. Money, career, finances, angel spirits, guides for July 2023. Thank you. What do we have for our lovely Aquarians? We have... Uh, Five of Pentacles, sorry, Five of Cups and the Page of Wands. We have the Ten of Wands, Four of Cups, Justice again. The Hermit.
the Ace of Wands. We have the Ten of Swords. And we have the Three of Pentacles. This feels here, Aquarius, that something has become a weight, a burden. Again, the Ten of Wands represents that you're at the end of uh, a process or a situation that you've been going through. And again, with the Hermit energy, time to let something go. Because it's become too heavy, too burdensome, is what I'm seeing for you. With the Five of Cups and the Ace and the Page of Wands, who holds the Ace of Wands, this is the energy here um, of of a loss of some kind. It's been difficult. We mourn something that's gone, but there is now an opportunity to move forward in a new direction. The page, of, the page of Wands can actually be linked with new jobs, new business opportunities, or it can actually be where we're ready to start something new ourselves, put something new into action in some way. I mean, however that manifests for you. This could well be letting go of a business, for example, that hasn't been delivering and it's become too much of a burden around your neck. It's taken too much time and energy. And it might well be that you're thinking it's time to let it go, but it's that sense of it's we still mourn something that's gone. Again, the Ace of Wands starts something new or move in a different direction, could be new job, new business opportunity. Because I, I feel that again an offer is being extended to you with the Four of Cups. But again, this person is, is kind of like discontent because there's a feeling of not really wanting to let something go, but letting it go anyway because it's it's not working out. With the Ace of Wands, uh, it looks like a new opportunity or new direction or the opportunity to start something new is being offered to you in some way. Again, the Four of Cups can be uh, you being offered the means to start something new or an offer or an invitation to start something new. But it feels like it's linked with um, an ending of some kind. The Ten of Swords can actually be a painful ending. But that's where we see the new light coming in. We let go of something even though it's difficult, painful, because you might be attached to it, because it might well be the right thing to do. Again, justice with the Ten of Swords, uh, making the right choice and decision, knowing it's the right thing to do. And again, the Three of Pentacles. This feels here the potential to collaborate with someone new or... Um, Start something new. Three of Pentacles uh, is a great energy here of, of collaboration, uh, teamwork, joining a new team, starting something new up. Uh, so however this Ace of Wands, Page of Wands represents for you, there's a sense that all is not lost in this situation, but a feeling of knowing the right thing to do is to let something go and clearly move in a different direction uh, but this is where there's real growth excitement potential and spirit is really bringing this into you so even though something doesn't feel like it hasn't worked out there's a strong energy here Aquarius of you've learnt lessons uh, we learn lessons with things like the ten of wands uh, we learn lessons with ten of swords energy we learn lessons from things that don't work out for us because we learn not to repeat uh, the same choices, the same decisions, the same uh, you know challenges that we faced and overcome them, how we approach them. It could well be we learn, we wise up and we move forward. So I feel this is an energy here, either starting something new, but I feel spirit is telling you 
this is what you're meant to be doing. This new direction is what's meant for you. Uh, so I feel that you're being told if you let something go, even though it's difficult and painful, and I feel coming into July, this has happened because it, there's a sense of healing from it. Um, and knowing deep down it was the right thing to do, but not necessarily being happy with it. This is the energy here. You finally let something go and move on. It feels like there is some kind of new project, new initiative, new collaboration or new team with, with an opportunity to start something new. And it's about doing the right thing. And that's what I'm seeing here, Aquarius. All is not lost in this situation. And I feel spirit is strongly encouraging. Yeah, those cups are spilt on the floor. There's no putting those that liquid back into those cups. It's gone. But there is the potential here of two cups that are still full. All is not lost in this situation. And it's, it, it takes a process, but it's time to move on from what was to what will be because there's still potential hope and opportunity around you. And I feel it's in the link, it's in the message of the Page of Wands. This can be very good news in terms of new opportunity, starting something new, uh, being ready to go on a new adventure. I feel Spirit is likely encouraging that. Because this artist energy, you get to create something new. You start with a blank canvas and you get to create something new. This really does feel like there's some kind of new collaboration coming in or joining a new team where you get to shape something. It could even be the beginnings of a new company or getting in at the ground level. I mean, however this manifests for you, whether it's a job opportunity or a partnership or a collaborative uh, new adventure or new business venture, this is the energy here that I'm seeing. There's new light coming in after an ending, but I feel deep down you know it's the right thing to do here. And I feel spirit strongly saying, look forward, because this is really being handed to you. I mean, the aces are generally influenced by spirit when they appear in a reading, so always lovely energy. Um, but it feels like this is, this is the way forward. Something exciting, something that you is enthusiastic, something that holds great potential, uh, starting something new that's full of possibility, uh, potential, success, empowerment uh, and growth. So it feels like it's about planting a new seed because this is where you're meant to be. However that resonates with you. All right, what do we have for our lovely Aquarians, please? Angel Spirits Guides message for our lovely Aquarians. Yeah, we have slow digital detox, recalibrate, reset and recharge. And it is kind of like that sense of, you know, uh, a blank canvas. I'm going to pull one more for you. Yeah, we have Dolphin, Atlantis, Healing Wisdom is Surfacing, Stop and Listen. You might be helped by friends as well, but lovely energy here. Uh, this is an energy of real happiness and delight is available to you, but I think it's linked with the new. And this, it, this feels like spirit shining a spotlight here on a new beginning, uh, moving in a new direction, a new path. Even though when we go through this kind of energy, we're kind of like, oh, I don't know if I, I really don't want to go with that. I don't want to do this. I'm not sure about it. This is the energy that I'm seeing. But sometimes this can be linked with missed opportunities, the four of cups. And it can actually be sometimes a divine nudge. And I feel that's the energy here. It feels like a little divine nudge to say this is being presented to you. And this looks like the direction that Spirit is encouraging you to move down. But again, free will. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful month. I will see you next time.